Hi guys, it's Aaliyah. Welcome back to my channel. I'm jumping on real quick today to share um, some books and a couple other little things that I found at an estate sale that I went to today. And again, I do apologize for my desk. Um, as I said in a previous video, I am in the middle of doing a um, project and I can't really put everything away. I suppose I could cover it, but I just kind of pushed everything this way and this way just so I can have a little bit of clear space to share what I found. So um, I'm going to show you a couple things that really aren't craft related. Actually, yeah, just a couple things. But my most favorite thing that I found is this. Um, and what it is, is, and I guess, I don't know, the I, I'm uh, thinking like the boots, the shoes, boot things that you used to wear a long time ago, you would have to pull the, um, the laces tight, I'm thinking, because, and I don't know if this is going to show up on camera, so I'm going to do my best. See, it says quality shoes on this side, and this side, and there is a glare, it says Goodard Bros, or Brothers, Lynn, and that's where I live. And um, I did a little research on this when I got home, and there's this huge fabric store, um, kind of like in the downtown area of where I live, called Zimmons, and it opened, I think I was reading, it opened in 19, 1908, but the building that it um, opened in prior to it opening was um, Gooder Bros. Gooder Brothers. I don't know why I keep saying bros. I think because <laughs> that's what it says there. So they, you know, they sold shoes, clothes, you know, it was that kind of store. So you could basically get everything and anything there. From what I was reading online, um, I mean, they even sold like fabrics. Um, well, things that we would almost consider crafty related things or you would go to like Joann's for. It was all in this store. And I mean, the store itself is huge. I think there's four floors. But I mean, when you even look at the building, it's just so, it's old. Um, you can tell that right off the bat. It's just filled with history. And inside, um, when I was reading on one of the websites, there's still uh, most of the interior. Um, there's exposed beams and stuff like that or the way it is, um, it is original to the building. So they've done upgrades, but not changed it, which is amazing. So I have just a little piece of history, which is really, really cool. So I'm really happy I found that. I also found, it's like a little pillbox, but it's so cute. And this top, it actually has to be glued back on, but that doesn't, you know, I'll just slap some glue on it and you know, bring it back to where it was. But I mean, it was too cute to leave behind. And because it was broken, the lady just basically gave it to me for free. But I mean, you know, I love my little, my little tins and plates and all that fun little stuff. So had to get that. Then I got this. Um, and inside there's actually not playing cards. There's a couple. Oh, Oh, they're all the Jokers. I don't know where the, the rest of the cards went. I didn't even notice that. But there it is. That's what it was in here. It came with a little pencil and then a little score pad. And um, I wish there was some kind of... Oh, and I... I picked these up because <laughs> I like this. I like to leave these at my desk. Um, I, I mean, there's no date. Oh, you can see my phone and everything. Oh, there's me. Um, hmm. I mean, I don't, I don't know if they are vintage. I mean, maybe, but the only thing that throws me off is because see on the bottom says made in Hong Kong. Usually stuff now it says made in China. So, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I don't really know the date, but of course, you know, I love the, I bought it just because of the score pad. <laughs> that's basically it. That's why I bought it. So that's something fun there. And sorry about the reflection in the camera. I probably look like a crazy blurry monster, but nope, that was just me and my camera. Um, then, uh, let's see here. Actually, I went to a yard sale too right after. Uh, and these are the next two things on a thing, but I'll just show you what I got at the yard sale course I got a little pin to add to the pin collection little angel I'm gonna put that over there right now 
just so I don't forget. And then I got this, and this is so cool. It's the Sears and Roebuck catalog. Um, this is the fall 1900 issue. And this is everything that was selling back then. Now, this isn't, this book isn't from the 1900s. This one is, because it's a, a reproduction, but this was copyright 1970. So the book is from the 70s, but is reproducing the catalog from the 1900s. But I was just looking inside, and I mean, it's so much fun just to flip through and see what things were selling at and oh see these are the types of shoes that I was talking about with a little hook I think with the laces I think you have to pull them or you had to pull them tight I mean I could be wrong but that's what I thought it was for but I mean it's so much fun just going back and seeing the different things you know and the trunks and oh my gosh yeah I love this look at that This is so neat. And this. Actually, when we were at the estate sale, there was a stove in the garage just like this. And it was gorgeous. And it was in really good condition, actually. It didn't have this part here, but it had everything else. Um, and, I mean, it was just beautiful. I, had, I did take a picture of it. And I'll probably post that on my Instagram because it was just so neat. But yeah, so I thought that was really cool. And I mean, it was only 50 cents, so why not? So that's, um, oh, and now everything else is all the books that I got besides this. So this is typing paper, which is really cool. And then I noticed when I got home, there was this in the front. And this is kind of like, this is personal typing overview sheet. So... It shows kind of, I don't know if you can see that, how to address everything, what should be where, and all that fun stuff. So I thought that was fun inside. Um, and this is just regular typing paper. So of course, you know, coffee diet, it'll go well in a junk journal. Uh, and then all the fun books. So as um, you know, I've been talking about it recently. I'm working on a project right now that is beach themed seaside seashore seashells any types of anything um and so I, I also went in looking for some of those types of books and then i found this one this is america's seashore wonderland so i mean hello <laughs> seashore um and of course i mean not everything in here is going to be um that I, I won't need everything in here, but I thought, you know, there are some, I mean, like this, oops, right here, this would actually make a cute tag. So I might cut that out or, you know, something like this, cut out and make a tag, um, you know, just anything like that. But I was having such trouble finding things related, or not things, but books related to uh, the subject or the theme. Um, but I mean, I am in the middle of, of it. I've gotten a lot done, but you know, you always want to make some more ephemera, some more tuck spots or, you know, stuff like that. So I'm still on the look for it and I probably won't stop looking until I completely finish the project. And even after, if I find one of these books, I'll just put it up in my library. Well, <laughs> I say it like I have a library. I don't, I have books on a shelf, but, um, for, you know, future projects and stuff like that. Cause I didn't realize, um, it is difficult to find you know, one thing related. Like, if I'm in a thrift store, yard sale, or, you know, anything like that, and I come across books, I'll buy books with intentions of, oh, that would make a great junk journal, you know, and I'll just have it already. But to get a theme that you have to do, you, it's different. It's just kind of like, you're like, oh, yeah, I'll do it. And then you realize <laughs> how far and in between it is to find books like that. But I've actually been really lucky. Um, what I also had one of my friends, Sherry, thanks Sherry, um, from Turquoise Dreaming, she sent me a little seashell book too, you know, to add to it. Um, I've gotten a few things from the estate sales and from the thrift stores. So, I mean, my project is going really, really well, but you never know. You know what? Be on the lookout for a lot of different types of books. And then, you know, you keep it in your stash and if need be, you can use it. So I did find this and I'll, I'm going to look through this after the video just to see what else I can add to my project. And then I also have this one, and this is just, it's all about fish. Um, but I, there was some, at first I wasn't going to get it, but then there's some things in here that I think would make like really nice, 
um, tags or journaling cards or something. So, you know, I picked that up because you never know. And then I also, I found this one, Canada's Incredible Coasts. Now, it's not um, completely like for the sea. I mean, there's other stuff in it. But again, I thought, you know, there's a theme in here. Oh, look at this. I love this. The little baby birds. Um, you know, when in doubt, buy it. Because when I go to this estate sale, well, not this one, but the company that does the estate sales that I go to on Sunday, it's always the same company. And um, Sundays are the last day, so everything's 50% off. Plus, I am a very regular customer. And... Um, she kind of groups everything together and just gives me one lump sum rather than, okay, this book was marked $2. Okay, I'll give it to you 50% off. I'll give it to you for a dollar. She'll just count up my books, cut it in half, and then discount it. So, I mean, I, I can never complain. So if I find good um, books at their estate sales, I always try to pick them up. So there's that. Uh, I also found this one, and this is actually so cute. I mean, it's not not the book is cute but the pictures in here i don't know if i even looked in and saw oh i did okay so copyright 1950 so it's from the 50s but i like the little pictures and i'm not even in frame sorry about that there we go um all the different little pictures of the birds i mean i love this one <laughs> the belted kingfisher he looks like he just woke up and just went flying he didn't brush his hair or anything but I love these pictures here. And um, so it's birds in the front there. And then it goes into the wildflowers. And so I thought, oh, I love these pictures. Can't leave that behind either. So that's that one. And then, you know what, let me put these aside because the two I have two more. And I've not ever seen these. And these are so cool. These are, um, well, it says Greg Typewriting for Colleges complete course and this is college typewriting but the fun thing about it is look it binds at the top so it opens this way and so when you open it everything is like this isn't that fun and I mean basically it's you know teaching you how to use the typewriter and stuff but oh my gosh I think the reason why they open this way I think it might tent you know like um not like, you know, you would put it here somehow because I feel like, and maybe I'm wrong, but see how it's this way and then on the back it's upside down. So I don't know, maybe you turn it over and who knows. I'm just now just talking out my bum. But I thought that was really, really cool. And I thought this one was cool too because I think this one is more of for beginners because, and let me see, where did I start seeing it? You know, it shows kind of like how to start how to set everything, how to load your paper, um, where your positions of your fingers are. And then it goes into like some really easy practicing stuff. So I thought this was more of a beginner's. And I didn't look for a um, copyright on this. Um, <laughs> oh, copyright 1954. So this one is 1954. And then the one underneath is, doo -doo -doo, I'm assuming probably from the same time period, uh, 57, yep, so pretty cool. But, I mean, this these pages will be fun to add to junk journals. So that is that one. And that is actually everything I have. So, um, like I said, it wasn't too much, but I found some really cool things, especially this thing. This is just amazing, really, really amazing. So it's like a little piece of history in my hands. Now it's on my desk. So I hope you enjoyed my little video. Um, and thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time. Bye.